Hello, Jason. What's up, teacher? How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. That's good. Let's see more people coming in. We have Francisco, Rafael Garcia. Okay, um, thank you, Orlando. Do you have your, your webcam? Thank you, Rafael. Good evening. Good evening. Francisco. Good evening. Okay. All right, hello, Orlando. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Nudi, uh, okay, there you go, hi, Nudi. Uh, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm um, fine, thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's wait maybe two more minutes, see if more people come in. Okay, um, so we have now Elena, Rodrigo, David, Orlando. Hi, people. Hi, hi, class. How are you? Hi. Hi, fine. It's Thank very you. good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. All right. Thank you. I'm going. I'm going to be your teacher for four weeks. Okay. So. Yeah. So. Um, Let's hope we have fun. Okay, um, since it is the first class today and while more people come in, one thing, if you could please, if you have a webcam, put your webcam on, please, because um, InsaFold needs it. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is David Baltrons. Um, I have been a teacher for a very long time, hmm. maybe 20 years. Hmm. I really like teaching. Um, I like the class to be interactive. I, I will expect you to ask me questions. So please participate. Remember, we only have one hour. It's very short. So. One, one thing very important, remember English, you don't study English, you learn English. In this moment, you are learning English, you're not studying. So when you learn, you need to practice. When you study is when you take notes and just absorb in your brain, that's it, study. You study mathematics, you study, history, you study politics, yes. But to speak is an ability and the abilities you learn. For example, when you drive, it's an ability. You need to learn to drive. You don't study to drive. You learn to swim. You don't study to swim. You see the difference? So you want to speak English? You need to learn, not study, okay? So, um, Rafael, tell me about you. Where do you live? Do you work? Are you married? I live in San Salvador. 
I worked at, in a company to pro in a company that supplies printing machines. Oh, okay. Well, in Santa Elena? No. San Salvador. No, the company is in Santa Elena. No. No, in Boulevard, Venezuela. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Nice. And what part of San Salvador do you live in? Uh, near the the Cus the Cuscatlan. So you live like in La Cima? No, in Altamira. Oh, okay. We're a little close because I live in Alta Vista. No, I'm sorry, um, Vista Hermosa. Oh. It's by um the Hawar Circle. Yeah. So but right almost... now, right now I'm in Santa Ana because uh, last Saturday I test positive for COVID. Oh man, you have COVID in this moment? Yeah. Are you okay? Do you have any symptoms? Mm, I like symptoms from Omicron. Oh man. Yeah. Omi Omicron, the, the last. Yeah, and what are the symptoms? <clears throat> like flu and and only one day I have fever. Okay. But the I I can smell and eat everything. Okay, okay. good. Okay, good. Well, thank you, Rafael. I hope I um I hope you you get better. And Thanks. please don't have contact with people. <laughs> Okay. For, yes, for the moment. No, don't. All right, Francisco. Francisco, where do you live? Hello, David. My name is Francisco. I live here in San Salvador, too. Uh, I think that you live near to my neighborhood, too. Where do you uh, live? Uh, Montserrat. Oh yeah, we're neighbors. Yes. Um, well, uh, I have been studying like two years and a half, like in, in the in last long. But I, since I was a kid, I started. Oh, very good. Do you work? Uh, yes, I work in a call center. Good for you. Um, Francisco, just a quick question. Are you on the phone or on a laptop? Uh, on a laptop. Do you have earphones by any chance or? Oh, mm, I had, but it wasn't mine. It was for the, the oh, okay. laptop that I had. I or know. earphones? Oh, okay. Because the audio is not very good. It, it, I understand, but it's not very, very good. Okay. So, no, but thank you. Nuri, hi. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nuri. Hi. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Nuri De Valle. I'm 51 years old. I live here in Lourdes, Colón. Okay. I am married and right. I, I'm a stylist. I work at home. All right. You're a stylist and you work at home. Perfect. Nice. Yeah. And where did you learn English? Oh, well, <laughs> 32 years ago. Okay. When I was young. You still are young. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And next, Canela. I'm sorry, Kalena. Hello. Hi, you know Hi, what? Ka Hi, Kalena. Mm -hmm. I, I really like your name. Thank you. But but it's my um, Apollo. Uh, oh, okay. It's yeah, my, it's my nickname. My nickname. Name. What is your my name? My name is Carmen Elena. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go, Kalena. But I like uh, the people say Kalena. <laughs> no, uh, you know what? You know, I, I, I like it. I like different names. Hmm. So when I saw <laughs> Kalena, okay, but Carmen Elena. Okay, I see. Carmen Elena. Okay. Elena. So and tell me about you. My name is Carmen Elena. Uh, I live in San Salvador also, as you I am also a teacher, as you. Oh, yeah? Where do you uh, teach? I work in a, a school. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm married, and I have one kid. Uh, he's eight years old. Oh, okay, nice. Only one? No more? Yes, only one. 
I'm not going to say my age. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not, <laughs> no, but I'm no. Kidding. I'm oh, just okay. kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, we're not. A, okay, good. But you know what? Let me give you a tip. Sometimes it's it's usually women, but also men. When you don't want to give your age, mm -hmm. you say three things. You say early, mid, and late. For example, Nuri, I believe you said you are 51, mm -hmm. correct? So you can say, Nuri, uh, she can say, I am in my early 50s early 50s so that's 50 51 52 53 okay or she can say i am in my mid 50s that's 54 55 56 or i am in my late okay and and this is because like in, in el salvador we say cuantos años le calcula sus 38 sus 43 you know mm -hmm. we are specific Mm -hmm. In English, you say, how, how old do you think he is? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe early 40s mm -hmm. or maybe late 40s. Like, for example, how old, how old is the president? He's in his late 30s, no? I think so. Or early 40s, maybe. Early 40s. Early 40s or late. But there you get mm -hmm. the idea, you know? Mm hmm Okay. All right. So usually when, when, when a woman or a man, when you don't want to give your age, how old are you? I am in my early 20s. 30. Early 30s. <laughs> I am in my early 30s. All okay, right, nice. Thank you. Nice tip. I, I didn't know. Okay, cool. Uh, hi, Sonia. Tell us about you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sonia, I live in Metapan, and I'm 30 years old, and I'm system engineer, but currently I'm not working. Okay. Wow, but you're a, his, a systems engineer, nice. All right, thank you, Sonia, Metapan. How is Metapan in this moment, hot, cold? It's little, little hot. A little hot. Okay, good. Thank you, David You're Hernandez. Welcome. I like your name. Beautiful name, David. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name Hi. is David Hernandez, and I am thirty-one. Um, currently, I'm working on a web help. It's a call center. And I'm sorry. You're working on a web page. No web help. It's a, a call, uh -huh. it's a call center. Oh, yeah, I never heard of that one. Where is it? Uh, it's, it's a new company on El Salvador recently. Uh, they they uh, pay another another company here. Okay, Webhead. <laughs> Webhead. I like the name Webhead. <laughs> uh -huh. And I am a system engineer too. Oh, excellent. And where do you live? I live in San Bartolomé, Perú La Pia, in Cuscatlán. Oh my God, you're from Perú La Pia? Yes. How long have you lived there? Uh, from San Salvador? No, no. How long have you lived in... Ah, San... all my life. Um, do you remember Padre Recinos? Yes, yes. He, he was my uncle. You... I... Uh... <laughs> I, I remember you because uh, you you went to to be class in one link in, in Torre Cuscatlán and you asked me the same question oh yeah this time I was mm -hmm. teaching in that time there well he's uh -huh. actually not my uncle he was my mother's uncle but I always called oh, okay. him uncle yes yeah he's he cool. he's best recordado no, no, no. he's best yeah. remembered just remember him. Yeah, I like, I like, yeah. I, every time I went to Peru La Pia, I went to the church, to the mm -hmm. convent, and I rang the bell, ding, ding. <laughs> it was cool. 
Nice. Hey, pero la pía is in, in the parties I see in the webpage in Facebook. Yes. Uh, Saturday and, and last Sunday uh, was the, the romería. The local, local parties. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Thank you. All right, David. Orlando Morales. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, David. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I live in Mexicanos, San Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, I early 40s. All right. Uh, uh, I don't know that I say, but I I expect them about the discourse, right? I I learning about about the the a lot new vocabulary, right? Of course, yes. Yeah, no, definitely. I hope. Thank you. Just if you participate, you will learn. I promise. Uh, do you work? Uh, um, unfortunately, I unemployed. Yeah. Unemployed. I employ you. Okay. 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 No. Thank you. And you live in Mexicanos, you said, correct? Yeah, correct. Nice. Next, we have Jenny Quesada. Hi, Jenny. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Mm, I'm sick. I have a COVID too with oh Rafael. My. Oh, yeah. my God. But you, but you, you, are, do you know him? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> But I, aislada, no sé cómo se dice. I what? Aislada. Oh, I am in quarantine. In quarantine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But are you okay? Uh, only cough and flu. Uh, temperatura. Temperature? Temperature. That's it. Do you have body ache? Okay, body. listen to this. You, you remember... Headache, uh -huh. stomach ache, okay, toothache. So mm -hmm. you have body ache. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was. I I remember I got COVID like one year ago, and I have I had every symptom, mm -hmm. but the one I really really hated was the body ache. Like mm -hmm. oh, I couldn't sleep. Hmm. My back. My yeah, my back. back. So I turn, yeah. I, I slept yeah. on the floor, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But so are you are you alone in quarantine? Yes, yes. <clears throat> are you married? Yes, I have two children. Oh, so do I, you have to do you see your children through the window? Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> are you okay? Man, that'd be fine. <laughs> yes, that's the most important. Yeah. Yeah, I live in San Miguel. I I am lawyer. Oh, okay. Uh, I work in Anda, Easter Sun. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yes. I hope you get better, Jenny. Thank you, teacher. How long have you been in quarantine? Two days. <laughs> two days, okay. Yeah. And you're going to be there two weeks, correct? Yeah, two weeks. But, but, but you know what? I don't know, okay? I don't know. Rafael, are you married? Oh. <laughs> when, when I got COVID, those two weeks relaxed me. <laughs> they did because I was like, yes, I miss my wife and my son, but like, I watch TV, I watch movies all day. And you know, I only knocked on the door. Hey, your food. Hey, thank you. Hey, I'm finished. <laughs> For me, my husband say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I you know now now I think about it and said, okay, wow, it's a good thing I didn't get bad, bad, bad COVID, but <laughs> but it was like it was a relaxing vacation. <laughs> well, like the the first four days were horrible, mm -hmm. but like the last week I was like, ah. you know, I was okay. And when people call me, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so enjoy, enjoy, Jenny, because I know you're married. You have two children. You will never get this opportunity again. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. O sea, it's not negotiable. You have to be in quarantine, so enjoy. I enjoy my COVID. <laughs> Le paso links para que vea Spider-Man en all those movies. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Tatiana Beltrán. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, baby. How are you? Um, really good. All right. People always confuse my my last name with yours because I'm always Beltrán, and they always put Beltrán, Beltrán. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell, no, it's Baltrons. No, no, Baltrons. Baltrons. no it's Baltrons. <laughs> so maybe in, in the past we were family. I don't know. <laughs> so Tatiana, tell us about you. What do you do? Mm, I am a student. Okay. Uh, and uh, I currently at work uh, at Atento. Mm, okay. For, for, I, for I am working for a moment. I am working uh, at, at front home or front home. Okay. So you work in a call center too? Mm, Atento is a call center, no? Yes. But I'm sorry, but do you work in Atento or you work in the Atento building? Uh, um, uh, um, in in English, uh, recurso interno. ¿Qué es recurso interno? O sea, no, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Recurso externo. Like a third party. Yeah, it's like an outsource. Mm -hmm. Outsource. Outsourcing. Mm. Aquí es una palabra bien técnica como de español. Ajá, no es como recursos humanos, que es un nombre propio. Que es human resources, pero ahí está recurso interno, externo. Eh, ¿Cómo es el otro? Anexo, recurso anexo. There's a lot. Ok. Ok, so. I see. Where, where do you live, Tatiana? I live in Apopa. In Apopa, nice. All right, cool. Thank you. Hello, Daisy. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good. All right, tell us about you, Daisy. I live in Sayapango. I work for Papelera San Rey. Okay. I'm a computer engineer too. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of uh, computer people here. <laughs> nice, okay. And okay, and you work in Sayapango, you said, right? Yes, I and, say. and where is the papeleria? San Rey in San Salvador. Oh, okay, okay. All right, nice. Thank you, Daisy. Nice to meet you. Are you married? Nice to meet you too. Yes, I have uh, two children. All right, nice. Good. Okay, next we have Mirna Sanabria. Hi, Mirna. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm okay, um, thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you. What? Tell us about you. Oh uh, yeah, um, my name is Mirna. I'm six, uh, 17 years old. How old are you? 17. <laughs> 17? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, I'm actually, I'm gonna start the university. And I'm living in Metapan, in Metapan too, Santa oh, you're Ana. From, you're from Metapan? Yeah. All right. Do you know who, who was from Metapan? Sonia, right? Yeah, I hear yes. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, okay, you know her. All right. And what are you going to study in the university? Uh, veterinary. Veterinary. Okay, nice. Yeah. So I imagine you love animals. Yeah, I love <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. And, and please don't get angry, but um, <laughs> I really, really, really hate cats. Really? No, no, wait. It's not that I hate them, but they give me, they give me this horrible allergies. 
Oh, that's very. Yeah, but it's not that I sneeze. My face gets fat. Really? Yes. It's like this horrible allergies. And I have a problem because I have a neighbor. Oh. And she loves cats. And it's good. It's no problem. Eh? The problem is that she's a crazy neighbor because oh. um, she has this big bowl of food every day outside her house, but a big basket of cat food. Oh. So in my block, in my For block, there's only eight houses and we have 26 or 30 cats in the block. Oh my God. Yes, it's, it's, it's a lot. And for me, it's no problem, okay, because, but now the cats are going inside the houses to sleep under the cars. So I have a problem every morning. I go in my car and, and I, the hair or something. And every morning, I, my, you know, my boss, pensó que andaba de goma. Oh my God. <laughs> because, are you okay? Have you been drinking? No, I don't drink. Okay. <laughs> And what can I do? What it because citrix do not work. People say, oh, citricos cats. No, I have a lemon tree in my patio in the front, and the cats sleep on that tree <laughs> on, with the lemons. So it's, <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. I mean, I will never kill an animal. I will never kill a cat or something, but it, it, and, and you know, the crazy thing is that my neighbor, she doesn't have cats in her house. She, <laughs> She's crazy. Um, yeah, so what can I do? I don't know, because uh, he, he is crazy, like, right? Yeah, she's crazy. She's the crazy cat lady. Have you seen The Simpsons, the, the crazy cat lady? No. <laughs> no. Maybe a... you, sorry, maybe you call the city hall because it sees the people irresponsible, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I, I, I remember uh, I have a friends in, in Germany. The Germany, you get it. They, they gay, they gay about the, the permissions about the have animals is is very complicated, mm. and and then and then is is it is the responsibility. Yes, it, 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 you know the problem is too that the cats now they sleep on the on the cars in the top, so they mm. scratch the cars. And, <laughs> well, in my house there's a garage, but the neighbors, the 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 paint and and. And when we speak with the lady and say, hey, look, can we work something about the cats? Ah, she gets crazy. You are not human. Cats are our are, are, are criatura de Dios, whatever. And we say, no, that's not the problem. But hay un parquecito. You know, like three houses, there's a little park. Put the food in the park. Yeah. But she doesn't listen. But imagine 30 cats. When you open the door, I uh, just see cats like birds. Shh. In Germany, when you when you live in the apartment, uh, you change for three days. Uh, by three days, uh, change the 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 uh, arena. Mm -hmm. The sand. Yeah, the sand uh, because. The other people uh, complain about the the smell, uh, the the city hall, uh, putting in the in the punishment. Yeah, I don't know if they do that here. Uh, you, yeah, no, nah, I don't know, but the the your neighborhood is very crazy, right? She's crazy, and you know what? I I think I have a neighbor in front. He recently he bought um uh, those pickups, que es un ram, pero those rams that look like a trailer. Beautiful, beautiful pickup del año. And he's very angry because the, the roof is scratched. 
because the cats sleep. So um, he's very angry. So I think I think he's going to start killing the cats. It's really a, a problem, a big problem. Uh, it is. A friend of mine, uh, she said, I don't know if if this work, but she said uh, you can put a, a little pepper uh, and, and the cats smell the pepper and don't like it. And disappear because yeah. the pepper uh, les molesta, obviamente, en la nariz. Yeah. And, uh, and like every, every four months, we see little kittens, like little cats. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, it, can you imagine when they when, when they reproduce? Oh. Yeah, it's exactly. It's very dangerous when when the they put in the in the poo and the smell because when 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 they uh, I don't know what they say the seco uh, the people uh, smell the the. Oh yeah, it's, it's very complicated, right? You know, one of my best friends, um, he got osteoporosis. No, what, what is that called? No. Uh, toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis. And that they say that the poop of, of, of the poop of the cat is so hard mm -hmm. that within days it, it, it turns to dust and and you breathe and you know, so, oh man. There was one beautiful cat here though. I mean, the Torres was, he was black, black, black and his eyes were red. He was so cool. Se llamaba Diablo. Well, yo le puse Diablo because he, he looked evil. <laughs> he was cool, yeah, but wow, that's a cool cat. I never touched him. But that was a cool cat because he was black and his eyes were red. I never seen red eyes. <laughs> so, um, Mirna, if you know any, if you have any good ideas, please let me know. <laughs> because, <laughs> because uh, if not, those cats are going to start dying. My yeah. neighbors are going to start killing them. Yeah. I I can say that uh, that uh, Elena said is true because. Uh, it works, but maybe Pepper? You can put a, a trap. Yes, you can put a, a trap like like for the flea and a, 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 a sheet from that, and then you throw uh, over the the, the sheet uh, the pepper, and you can uh, like uh, put it on, on your on your roof, and that can smell it, and the cats uh, doesn't like it. Yeah, I, I will try that. I heard that a lot too. Well, thank you. Thank you for the advice. I will try it. Okay, now we have Aide Lemus. Hello, Aide. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Aide Lemus. I am from Salvador. I live in San Sal in, in Salvador, Ciudad Delgado. I am 24 years old. I am a son and I were a excuse me. businessman and I, a, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I am a son or I have a son? I have a son. Sorry. Okay. I am a businessman or a businesswoman? Businesswoman. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I confused. No, and I am learning to to night for the moment. All right. So you're a businesswoman, and what do you sell, or what is your business? Um, by um, pants, jeans, and closet. Oh, and you're so close. Child, too. yes. Oh, nice, nice, very good. All right, good, good for you. And you have one son, you said? Yes. All right, good, all right, thank you. Malin. Hello, Malin. Hello, good evening. My like name is name. Malin Boca Sangre. Boca Sangre, and I have 40 years old. I have one son, and I'm working for a Thermo Encogibles. It's in Merliot. 
Yes, I remember, I remember Termo Incogibles. Uh, right now it's Ternova. Oh, it changed the name? Yes, and the last year. It's Group Ternova. Okay. Ternova but, Group. But, and where do you live? Um, I live in Santa Elena. Oh, that's good. You live close to your job. Yes, and I think in, when I drive um, for, I think, Four minutes. Four minutes. I think, or maybe in 10 minutes. And I imagine you're always late. <laughs> no, I never. I like to. <laughs> okay, no, because uh, that sometimes happens when you live very close <laughs> to your work, you tend to be late because you say, I say, in five minutes, I'll be there. <laughs> so you always take longer, longer. When you live very far, you, 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 you are early. Like, yes, for example, uh, David, you live in Perula Pia, right? And you work, I'm sorry, wh where is the call center? Web help. No, where Web is help it? Is, uh, where? Uh, in Torre Cuscatlan. So, what time do you, are you working from home? Yes, from my home. Okay, but normally if you have to go to Torre Cuscatlan, how, how long is that? Uh, uh, two hours at least. Yeah. At least. Mm -hmm. And it's not really because it's very far, but the problem is going to Peru La Pia, you, you cross B Venezuela Boulevard mm -hmm. and the Ejército Boulevard, mm -hmm. oh man. This is the problem. Yeah, yes, it's a big problem. The, the distance is not too longer, but yes. the traffic is very difficult, very hectic yes. every day. That's true. In my case, two years ago, I live in Merliot. I live in a five minute for my work. <laughs> You can go walking if you want. I try to, and sometimes I used to. Um, it's dangerous, maybe, is the, the street in Don Java. Pasarela? Oh, good. How do you say pasarela? Does anybody know how to say pasarela? Okay, what is a. Okay, this is. Look, le voy a dar un consejo ahorita. You want to practice English. The way to practice English, you have to describe, all right? So nobody here knows how to say pasarela. Good. Explain to me, what is a pasarela? Or what is a pasarela for? Like a bridge. Okay, it's like a bridge. To walk. To walk, to cross the to street. Walk on the street. Very good. So it's called a crosswalk. Cross? Crosswalk. Cross Thank you. No, you're it's welcome. That's good. For a vocabulary. But you know what? That, that's one that's one good thing about that's what I really like about English that um everything makes sense. Like for example, traffic light. Que es traffic light. Bueno, traffic is traffic or light is luz. Semáforo, supongo. Yes. Because you make sense. But not like in Spanish, by my name, pasarela. <laughs> it's like, what, 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 que ser pasarela? Uh, and you have to explain because el nombre es propio. Mm. Yeah, but there is no, there is no crosswalk, um, Malin. Uh, yes, um, and right now uh, I live in Santa Elena. It's maybe 10 of, 20 minutes, I don't know. But the last uh, two years ago, I live a uh, five block, maybe. Okay. I have a question, um, Malin. You told me, you said, I have 40 years, correct? Yes. Is that correct? They said, I have 40 years or I am 40 years old? No, it's I am. Why sorry. is it I am? No, 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 don't say sorry, <laughs> because that's what you're here for. But do you know why is I am and not I have? That's what you need to know. It's I am because it's a, in a person, one person for me. Okay. I, think, I think that is because in English is 
eh, it's like yo soy tantos años I don't know <laughs> no, it's not in, like in Spanish de, yo tengo Mirna are you married? no no I am no I am not I'm not so I am single repeat I am what? I am single. I am single, yeah. All right. Um, Daisy, what is your profession? I'm a computer engineer. Oh, so you, I am an engineer. Kalena, are you a mother? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Jenny. In this moment with COVID, are you sad? Are you worried? Or are you okay? I am, I am sick, but I am okay. I'm okay. Okay. So what do you, what do you think that, that's in common? Um, Mirna, she said, I am single. Daisy said, I am an engineer. Kalina said, I am a mother. And Jenny said, I am sick and worried. So... What, what do those have in common? That those are yes. adjectives. Footbridge. Santos, you found footbridge, right? Yes. That is the technical explanation. But actually, the name is a crosswalk. But let's go to the footbridge. <clears throat> okay, so listen, when you say I am, after I am, va, an adjective or um, un titulo. Do you know what is a title? Titulo. What is a titulo? In English, what is a title? Uh, Nuri, where do you work? I'm a stylist. Oh yeah, you're a stylist, it's true. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Rafael Garcia, where do you work? At Servigraf. Servigraf, and what is your title in Servigraf? My, my, uh, technical assistant. Okay, good. So that's how you ask. Okay, like for example, hey, where do you work? Oh, I work in el, in el Seguro Social. What is your title? Oh, I am a doctor. Oh, I am an assistant. Oh, I am an accountant. So cuando alguien dice, what is your title? It's not only the piece of paper. What is, what is your your job in the company, that is a title. Because imagine, where do you work? In the hospital. That doesn't necessarily mean that because you work in a hospital, you're a doctor. You can be a, a nurse, you can be an accountant, a conserje, you can be a janitor. Yes. Y aquí va un perfecto ejemplo. A veces le preguntamos, ¿entonces trabaja? Ah, en el gobierno. Oh, quedó igual. Like, do you know how many possibilities? Oh, ok, sí, trabaja en el gobierno. I guess, I don't know. No, so you have to say, what is your title? Oh, I am an assistant for the vice president of the minister of education. Example, yes. Pero así se pregunta, a title, what is your title? Okay, so in this case, um, going back to Malin, when you say I am, next is two things, or a title, I am a teacher, I am a doctor, I am, I am a janitor, or an adjective, a description, I am happy. I am sick, I am sad, I am married. 
Ahora, ¿por qué se dice I am 40? ¿Quién puede terminar la oración? I am 40 years old. Years old. Ahí está el adjective old. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's why that's why people say I am 40 years old. Por eso se dice I am because you're saying you're mentioning the most important thing there is you're mentioning an adjective old. And that's and in Spanish, when you say your age, you you're talking about a, a possession. But in, in English, no. So that, that's that's the difference. So listen, uh, today, today is the first day of class. Don't worry, we're going to have a complete month. Um, tomorrow we're going to start the um, the material for the class. So uh, let me let me explain to you the expectations. What I expect from you is to participate, ask questions, but don't be silent. Y hablando de silent, Jose Chicas and Rodrigo, hello. And Aide, please, si tienen cámara, por favor, enciéndanlas. Hi, Debbie, I am not sure that you can hear me. I can hear you, Rodrigo. Okay, because my screen is freeze. It's frozen. Frozen, yeah, frozen. Hey, I remember you, Rodrigo. Yeah. When? Where? Have I have no. you been in the class before? No. Oh wow, your voice seems familiar. <laughs> oh right. Oh, okay. So listen. Um, maybe in the last movie. Maybe. Um. <laughs> eh, la razón es porque a veces sin Ford nos pide mucho eso de que es la forma de ellos chequear quién estaba en clase y no. <laughs> porque ya han habido problemas de que. Hay gente que se ha enojado. Miren, yo no entendí nada, no aprendí nada. Y cuando miraba en Safford las clases grabadas, miraban que la persona nunca se conectó. O sea, sí se conectaba, pero nunca estaba. O sea, que mucha gente solo se conectaba y se quedaba viendo Facebook o el teléfono, etcétera, 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 etcétera. Entonces nos, nos pidieron que les dijéramos si, si tienen web, webcam, please use the webcam. Okay, so uh, back to this. English is, um, I like I said, I have been a teacher maybe for 20 years. And um, one very, very important thing in English is ask questions. What, what, do you, what is your problem in English? What do you think your problem is? Or for you, what is difficult in English? For me, it's like express, I don't know, like, I don't know how to say soltarme for talk. For talk. Okay. For, for ask that idea, maybe for me. But, okay, do you know why, yes. do you know why, uh, Mirna, do you know why it's a little difficult to express, to say what you want to say? I don't know, maybe because I'm... Um, 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 I'm thinking in Spanish. Like, yes, pero lo vamos a generalizar, ¿ok? Y les voy a hablar en español y ya van a ver por qué. La razón por qué les cuesta a veces expresar, o sea, no, no necesariamente a ustedes, pero en general, a el salvadoreño, porque solo hemos estudiado esa parte psicológica de el salvadoreño, Es, es algo cultural porque el salvadoreño nos expresamos con palabras cortas, no con oraciones enteras. Le puedo dar un ejemplo. Hey, ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Tranquilo. Imagine, mi respuesta fue just one word. ¿Qué, qué, qué hiciste en vacaciones? Ah, la casa, viejo. Eso, ese es el impacto cultural, right? And it's cool, pero cuando yo dije la casa, ¿qué significa? Yo quise decir, no hice nada, la pasé en la casa, 
Boom. Ahora, intentemos decir eso en inglés. Hey, how was your vacations? Ah, my house. In English, what, my house? What? My house. <clears throat> o sea, esa cultura, o sea, esa cultura no la podemos traer en inglés. Ahí tenemos que decir, no hice nada, me quedé en la casa. O... A veces ni hablamos. ¿Qué tal tu fin de semana? <laughs> yes, so that's, o eso es una cosa, mira, entonces a veces cuando uno quiere hablar, con quien hablamos así en español mucho, y ahora lo queremos expresar en inglés, por eso nos cuesta, es, es como un shock cultural, algo así, se llamaba. Pero es ok, entonces lo que les recomiendo ahí, Mirna, es, desde hoy en adelante, cuando alguien haga una pregunta, siempre procure usar palabras completas. Voy al ejemplo, el ejemplo de mailing. Ella me dijo, I have 40, que era I am 40. Termina la, la oración mejor. I am 40 years old. Only to practice. Ya, yeah, porque si no, se los juro, no sé cuántas veces he oído esto. O sea, el inglés yo lo entiendo todo. Vos puedes hablarme, yo te entiendo. Lo que a mí me cuesta es hablarlo. Hasta ya, ya, sé, ya sé todo lo que me van a decir. <ríe> y es por eso. Porque hay muchos profesores de que yo he visto de que Hi, what is your name? Jose. Where do you live? San Marcos. Are you married? Yes. Do you study? No. Uy, Jose es good. José solo dijo, yes, no, San Marcos, José. <laughs> That's it. El que habló más ahí fue el teacher, no, José. José respondía con palabras. Y así pasaron un año o dos. Entonces, por eso entendían todo. Y cuando querían hablar, decían, no, I don't, no puedo hablar, no puedo hablar. Pero es por eso. Yo, yo le veía, what is your name? José. No, 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 complete. José Arnold, no. My name is José. Oh, my name is José. Are you married? Yes, I am. Porque el inglés son tres cosas. Recuerden bien esto. Y esto es porque si un día ustedes se quieren auto, auto, ¿cómo se llama? Corregir. El inglés está basado en tres cosas. Una, comprensión. Dos, gramática. Y tres, su fluidez o el acento. Esas tres cosas tienen que estar niveladas, pero nunca lo están. Hay alguien que tiene la comprensión súper, súper buena, pero la fluidez súper, súper mala. O está así. Entonces, de esas tres cosas, ustedes tienen que analizar qué es lo que me cuesta. Me cuesta entender. No, me cuesta hablar. No, no, o sea, la, hablar, el, el, no, la gramática. Ah, ok, entonces tenemos gramática. Le voy a dar un ejemplo y usted me va a decir cuál es el problema. What is your name? José. Are you married? What? Are you married? What? Are you married? Uh, no. Where do you live? What? Where do you live? Where do you live? Oh, San Marcos. ¿Cuál es el problema, José? La comprensión. Comprehension. Porque ya cuando ya entendía, pum, me respondía rápido. Entonces yo sé que su fluidez no era eso. Now listen to this. What is your name? José. No, answer complete. What is your name? My name is José. Are you married? Yes, I do. Do you, where do you live, Jose? I am do living in San Marcos. Are you married? Yes, I am do, I am, I'm reading, married. Whoa, what is Jose's problem? Grammar. Grammar, Grammar. because comprehension, perfect. Rápido me respondía. Fluency, él me hablaba rápido. <laughs> Pero eso sí, grammar was his problem. So, oh, en que en esto me voy a enfocar con Jose. José, yo le pregunté, are you married? Y usted me dijo, yes, I do living it. Me dijo todos los, los 
<risa> los auxiliares. Y ya cuando, cuando ya le enseñó a José cuál es su problema, uh, ya, vamos, ya estamos nivelando la, la línea. Eso, eso lo, entonces, cuando ustedes... Lo que decir, el problema es que mucha gente cuando dice, oh, a mí me cuesta, voy a estudiar inglés, y agarran un libro y empiezan, y ni saben lo que van a estudiar, pero piensan que con solo leer algo van a aprender. No, ahorrense tiempo y enfóquense en lo que a ustedes más les cuesta. Si les cuesta comprensión, es fácil. ¿Cómo se corrige? ¿Cómo se corrige? Y ustedes, digamos que todos ustedes tienen la edad de un niño de 7, 8 años que está aprendiendo, aprendiendo su idioma nativo. ¿Quién me dijo que tiene un hijo de 8 años? Calena, ¿ver? Su hijo ya habla perfecto español, obviamente. Pero sí, que sí. a veces aún perfecto. se debe trabar o, o, o dice cosas que, ah, porque aún no sabe mucho la gramática. Uh -huh. Porque él naturalmente está hablando. Pero le voy a dar un ejemplo, Canel. Calena. ¿Cree que su hijo puede entender una canción de Joaquín Sabina? Sí, completamente no. No. Y uh -huh. es español. Uh -huh. Pero porque Joaquín Sabina no hace cosas para un niño de ocho años. Entonces, ustedes mentalicen que están en esa edad porque, y por favor, no los quiero, o sea, no, no, no les quiero decir mentalmente, o sea, estoy hablando como una persona que está hablando nativo su idioma. Vean cosas que viera un niño de esa edad. En inglés. Vean Dora la Exploradora. En inglés. Y antes que me digan, véanlo y se entienden un, 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 un algo entero, boom, good for you. Escalen. Pero no empiecen con South Park. <ríe> si empiezan con South Park, se van a quedar like, what? Además, en inglés es mucho caliche. De... Cuando yo a veces he dado clases de español y alguien está avanzado, ¿qué creen que les pongo a este? a la persona que está aprendiendo español la familia peluche o chespirito le pongo chespirito chespirito quizás sí porque es más simple de entender porque chespirito lo hacía para todas las edades para que entendiera un niño de 5 años y una persona de 95 pero la familia peluche era demasiado caliche que pierdo al pobre al pobre <ríe> gringo que quiere aunque a mí me gusta más la familia peluche, un ejemplo, pero no es lo que a uno le guste, sino es lo que... Acuérdense que la ventaja que tienen los niños de hoy en día, que quizás nosotros no tuvimos, que hoy la mayoría de muñequitos y todos son hechos por psicólogos o gente que ha estudiado eso. Por ejemplo, Bob Esponja lo hizo un... un ¿Cómo se llaman los que estudian? Un Marín. Jacques Cousteau, que era... Marinólogo, bueno, eh, Dora Exploradora lo hacen todos esos niños. Yo les recomiendo mucho que vean Plaza Sésamo, pero en todo en inglés siempre, sin subtítulos ni nada. Véanlo, a ver si lo entienden. Si lo entienden, good. Si no lo entienden, ahí quédense. Hasta que lo entiendan. Hasta que lleguen a South Park. ¿Van a ver Rápido y Furiosos? No. Yo les recomendaría mejor vean Toy Story. En inglés, sin subtítulos. Porque Toy Story también fue hecho para adultos y para niños. Entonces tienen que usar un vocabulario Rápido y Furioso, ¿no? Es como... Si van a leer un libro, lean un libro corto. Si lean... Blanca Nieve y los Siete Enanitos. De verdad, léanlo en inglés. Son diez páginas. Dos oraciones por página. Super chivo. No vayan a leer El Señor de los Anillos. <ríe> Ni alguien que habla inglés nativo hasta eso se confunde. Como, what? <ríe> por el inglés que usan, que es bien sofisticado. <ríe> Pero me entienden. Tienen que, ustedes tienen que encontrar su área de oportunidad. 
cuando la encuentren, ahí es donde tienen que empezar a mejorarla. Y eso es lo que vamos a procurar hacer esta, este mes. Esperen y yo los voy a corregir y los voy a corregir en el momento, ¿ok? Porque como solo tenemos una hora de clase, eh, después se me olvida o ya yo no hubo tiempo. O sea, no, no hay como... Eh, Orlando, después de clase necesito cinco minutos con usted porque vamos a corregir. Y me quedo cinco minutos con cada uno y se nos hace otras dos horas. Entonces, por ejemplo, como, como le dije a Meilín, la corregí en el momento. A Aide, la corregí en el momento. Así esperen. Y, y no, no es que los quiera ofender ni nada, pero lo voy a corregir en el momento porque ahí es que tenemos que aprender. Kalena no me quería decir su edad. Ok, good. Le enseñé cómo decir otra forma, cómo decir cosas. Y ella me, me dijo, hey, aprendí algo nuevo. Pero es la mejor forma cuando las clases son virtuales y no son, no son. He me dado cuenta de la diferencia de clase virtual a una clase ya en físico, porque cuando les digo en clase virtual, ¿tienen preguntas? Nadie tiene. Cuando estábamos en físico, cuando sonaba la campana y así iban todos, ahí quedaban todos, teacher. Fíjense que tengo una pregunta. Ahí se quedaban todos después de la clase a hacerme las preguntas. Entonces, eh, eso vamos a hacer, ok. Mañana vamos a empezar el material nuevo. Y le vamos a dar duro. Ya vamos a, ver, vamos a aprender mucho. Y me gustaría también no solo enfocarnos en el material. Si, si lo terminamos rápido, los últimos 10 minutos vamos a hacer como actividades. Juegos. Vamos a aprender. A mí me gusta enseñarles como bastantes cosas como... Ey, ¿saben por qué esta palabra se dice así? ¿Saben el origen de esta palabra? Oh, no. Y así aprender algo nuevo. Mi objetivo es que aprendan algo nuevo todos los días. Ok, entonces mañana espero que vean a la exploradora <ríe> o Plaza Sésamo. <ríe> ok. So, thank you. I will not speak Spanish tomorrow, I promise. And, um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.